In this video, I want to show you, uh, show how to draw a histogram, a bar graph, not histogram, a bar graph and a pie graph uh, of this data. So what I've done is, this is a favorite color of students. Frequency means the number of students. So there are six students uh, who have blue as a favorite color, three with green and so on. So to draw, let's draw first the pie graph. So to draw the pie graph, you just select the data including the title. So this is the title and this is the data. Click on insert and then go to click on pie and click on the first one, 2D pie. You can also draw, draw 3D pie if you want to. So click on 2D So and this is your graph. Okay, so let me make it smaller. So now you can format this. Suppose I want this is you want to change the title. So click on the frequency number of students is not a good title. So click on that, highlight it, and just type pi what you want the title to be. It's a pi graph of the favorite F A V O U U favorite. All right, favorite color of students. So this is the pie graph, and you can make it highlighted if you want to make the font smaller. Go to home, make it say 11, and then you can also drag it up like this. Okay. So this this is the key. So, but you can't see how many students have. Uh, blue as a favorite color inside the chart so click on the chart click on the graph and then uh, let right click uh, add data label click on the add data label so this is uh, you got six students with blue blue and so on I also want to add the percentage along with the number so again uh, the, the data is already clicked. You can go out like this, and then you can click and then right click and uh, format, form, format data label. Okay, and then you can click on this percentage. If you click on this percentage and close it, you can see the percentage there. So let me make it bigger. So here you have got blue this is out of 30 so let me show you the data six students so six out of 30 the total number of students is 30 so so six the total number so let me show you how to do the total on excel so click on this equal then you go sum sum open bracket highlight the data and enter so that this is the total number of students. So this is the total of students. So now, if you want to do percentage, so six, I hope you know, six out of 30 is one fifth, and one fifth is 20%. Okay, and then you can make it bigger like this. So you can also drag it out. So now it is inside. So this is how you can draw a pie graph. Okay, so now if you want to draw a histogram, uh, sorry, bar graph, this this is a discrete data. So number of students can't be uh, cannot be as a continuous cannot be in decimal. So this is a discrete data. So you don't draw histogram for discrete data. You draw bar graph. So highlight this again. The same thing. Click on insert and click on column. And then you click on this, and then so this is a histogram. So this is a bar graph. So you can remove this, and then you can uh, give the proper title. So it's histogram of favorite color of 30 students. Okay, and there we go. And then you can make this smaller. This font is too big. Highlight, the, make it unbolded. Make it a font of 11. And then you can drag the title like this. 
up like this. So this looks better. You can remove the good lines and also, so yeah, if you want to add title below the x axis and the y axis, uh, uh, highlight the data, uh, format uh, axis title, this is a horizontal, so below the axis, so this is the favorite color of students on the x-axis and on the y-axis we got frequency again go to axis vertical and you want uh, vertical axis so okay so format axis no now you want to access title sorry access title vertical so let's do it horizontal like this so this is the frequency so or frequency or if you want number of students so this is your histogram of favorite color of 30 students so and then you can format these columns like going on this or uh, go to design and you can make it of different color if you want to okay and that's something that you can do yourself you can make it uh, bold like this so if you want a difference uh, if this looks better so these are the formattings that you can do okay you can also change the if you want to go up in one so you click on the axis format axis you can go up in ones if you want to and close it so this looks better if that looks you can remove the good lines if like this so this still looks better so you've got six students whose favorite color is six three students whose favorite color is green and so on 